curious about what you have in Christ? Join me for the Word of the Day. Hey friends, I got to tell you, I am excited about this message today because I feel it fresh in my heart and it is bubbling over towards your way. Straightening up the camera here. Here we go. Headed your way word of the day. I am so excited about this because, oh my goodness, the message is just tangible bubbling up on my heart. So got a little carried away with my wax seal, but if you notice, it is crimson, which was inspired by the shed blood of Jesus Christ, my Savior, the one who has made my new creation life possible in him. Praise the living God. So the word of the day is reconcile reconcile okay are y'all ready ah, i'm really excited about this message because i feel like my heart is like this envelope where it's just the message has just opened up in freshness for you today so reconcile reconcile okay let's read the definition of reconcile. We're doing a lot of re words. You know, I, I just, I'm kind of on the re. Okay. So reconcile, reconcile the definition. Are you ready to restore friendly relations between calls to coexist in harmony, make or show to be compatible to make another no longer opposed to end the estrangement caused by sin between God and humanity. Hallelujah! The victory of the cross. The victory that you receive by the cross. Only the cross. Are you ready? Are you ready for Colossians 1 15 through 22 many thanks receive this word with thanksgiving and a heart of belief and you'll feel the relief okay so colossians 1 15 through 23 here we go he is before all things and in him all things hold together and he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and firstborn from among the dead, so that in all things he may have preeminence. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him, here's the word, to reconcile to himself all things, Hallelujah. Okay, whether things on earth or things in heaven, woo, by making peace, listen, through the blood of his cross. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Praise God. Once you were alienated, now listen to this, once you were alienated, I think the word alienated, from God and were hostile in your minds, in your minds. You were alienated from God and were hostile in your minds. Why? Engaging in evil deeds. There you go. But now, but now, everyone say now, but now, he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy, unblemished, and blameless in his presence. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank God for his lavish grace, 
His mercy. Thank God that you just have to open up your heart wide and receive the gospel message in your heart. Praise the living God. Do you believe? Do you believe that he paid for your sin on the cross so that you could be partakers of the divine nature and take hold of eternal life? Now, I didn't have room because I filled up my card, but verse 23 urges us to continue we got to hold fast to that hope, right? Because some days your mind needs renewal. That's why we do this every day, right? Well, I haven't done it every day, but word of the day when I post it, right? That's why we do it. Whether you are reading a devotion or God's word or jumping on here with me, that's why we do it. To hear the good news afresh, because my goodness, as I was writing this out, I was like hearing the gospel all over again. And it never gets old because he has placed eternity in our hearts. And just by faith, you can share in the inheritance. The Spirit, praise God, praise God. Some good news. So reconcile. Reconcile is the word of the day. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, everything changes because of his life. My goodness. He wants you to experience that experientially out of his fullness. We all receive grace upon grace. Oh, and am I a recipient? I want to share that with you. Praise God. So you are a bright spot in my life. Super thankful for my Lord and Savior. And I have to share. I cannot not share. So praise God. Have the best day. And thank you for joining me for the word of the day. Bye.